How's it going everybody? Dotodoy here back with another Dragon Ball Fighters update video for you all today and this is a huge one as with this video we will be taking a massive step into what the community is now calling Season 3.5. That is right, we now have access to the full patch notes that are going to be coming out along with the update that will drop with Roshi on September 16th or somewhere around that area. Now as always with these patch notes videos we are going to be going through them entirely and talking about who the winners and the losers of the patch are but this time around I also thought I should mention here at the beginning that for the most part these patches were mostly all buffs which is a really good thing because as you know with the state of the world recently it's mostly been online competition so it's really hard to actively gauge what stuff you should actually be going after in terms of nerfs don't get me wrong there's still a few in here but for most of these characters you're going to find that they either don't get mentioned at all or if they are they're just getting buffed now unfortunately that might not be true for one of my favorite characters in the game but we'll get to that when that happens it's a big one though we'll talk about it when we get there so with all that out of the way let's go ahead and start things off with the very first panel we got to see which went over some system mechanic changes super saiyan goku and super saiyan vegeta really the only system mechanic change i'm interested in talking about is the fact that every single c assist in the game that's right every single one of them was buffed to speed up the attack startup obviously this is a very good thing i don't know if some c assists deserve this buff uh there's a lot i'm going to be scared of now like some of the really good ones like super saiyan vegeta c assist every beam c assist i don't know you guys can let me know down below in the comments what c assist you're looking forward to trying out or what CSS you're most afraid of, but that is pretty much the only thing I wanted to cover in regards to the system mechanic changes. Moving on to a character that I know everybody had their eyes on, Super Saiyan Goku. We all wanted to see what they were going to do with his 2M, aka his crouching medium attack, and the answer is they have sped it back up. Now, it is not his season 2 2M, in no way actually. In fact, if I'm going to be honest here, I still think it's pretty bad, but it's way better than what we had in season 3. Season 3, I mean, we all knew it was bad already but after seeing this it was like okay we definitely got it way way too bad so while i don't think super saiyan goku is going to fully recover he is definitely showing considerable progress and maybe one day they'll revert it back to season two but until then we'll just have to take this crouching medium attack uh that gets slightly sped up now though we do still keep that bonus range added in season three so that is a positive other than that there's not really too much to talk about with super saiyan goku the kamehameha is kind of an overall character change that won't affect most people his a assist got a bug fix and his b assist got slightly faster so everything good for super saiyan goku pretty much exactly what you would hope for the, his 2m got faster but i was still hoping to see a little bit more in that area super saiyan vegeta is another character that didn't really get touched at all in fact he only got this one line where final flash is a little bit faster now this is for those areas where sometimes after certain moves your final flash would be super easy to whiff uh this is designed to counteract that but that's about all this is designed to do so super saiyan vegeta kind of sits on the bench for this patch and then in direct stark contrast to someone like Super Saiyan Vegeta who didn't really get touched. We have Piccolo who for some reason got a lot of buffs. This character is crazy. Now to be honest I might think that just because I already thought very highly of Piccolo before this patch came out but this does a lot to improve him including demon slicer buffs, new ways to charge his attack. This character overall might be the winner of the patch. I'm still not entirely sure if I'd place him as the character I thought improved the most because of this. It's going to be interesting to compare it to some of the other stuff we're going over here but pretty much much all of these are meaningful buffs other than the small hell zone grenade asterisk here where it will no longer explode if the attack is successfully reflected but really that's just a small visual mix-up that's kind of gone from your opponents now and i kind of think that's fair i don't know i don't really put too much stock in that i think piccolo players are going to be more than fine with the rest of these buffs but whew, i mean uh, what what a win for piccolo players the other two characters on this panel even can't compete with him so i won't really go into some of these you can read them right here i will make a small note that they have in fact slowed down the startup of team gohan c assist which i think is good because you know it's a very very good c assist but i do still think the c assist is going to be more than fine so i wouldn't worry if you use it moving on to the third list of changes here i honestly don't have too much to say about this page ginyu got some more options added to his b assist that rotates out the ginyu force which is pretty interesting to me trunks got a huge buff in the form of his change the future assist getting even better than it already was cell received some buffs and the reason i said i can't talk about it too much is because uh, as somebody that doesn't play Cell too much, I'm not really sure what these buffs to perfect attack mean for his overall play style, but obviously any buff is better than no buff. So uh, I'm sure Cell players will definitely take that. And then 18 on the bottom there actually just got a new mechanic added to her Destructo Disc. When the Destructo Disc hits the ground, it will now cause an explosion. That will obviously force the opponent to keep blocking, etc., etc., making the overall projectile a little bit better. So that actually is something I'm interested in seeing how that is going to work out now. But uh, I overall, I don't think it's going to have a huge effect on the way 
18 plays. So on this page, I would definitely say uh, that in my mind, Trunks comes out on top just because again, that change the future assist is already so, so good. So it getting better is just that much of a plus for Trunks players. And now we get to talk about another big winner of this patch. And that is Gotenks, who again, I already thought was pretty good. <laughs> so, so far, Piccolo and Gotenks are two characters that I already thought were pretty top tier uh, and are only now getting better with the inclusion of some of these buffs in season 3.5. Let's go over a few of these going down from top to bottom. So standing light attack follow up uh, adjusted the knockback on that. They actually made it easier to connect into Galactic Donut, making new combo rats possible for the character. Every version of Miracle Super Punch caught a buff. Light great special rolling kick caught a buff. Galactic Donuts can now cause happy birthday combos or double Sunday combos. I, I just, wh why? He was already so good. <laughs> so yes, go tank players are another group of players that took a very big W today. Um, so I, yeah, I guess that's really all I have to say on go tanks, a great character that just got even better. Okay. Now we've reached one of the very first personal slides for me. Obviously we had super saiyan Goku, but now we are getting into Krillin and, uh, you guys aren't going to believe this, but they buffed this man. Like, I don't know. I don't know why they did this, but they buffed Krillin a lot. Look, both his standing medium attack and his standing heavy attack got increased distance. Do you know what this means? One of the big complaints about Krillin was that his moves were very stubby. Now, to be honest, I never thought his standing medium attack was that stubby, but now it's a completely different ballgame. Look at the comparison between the old and the new here. The heavy attack is even crazier. It's like a Nappa heavy attack. Other than that, Krillin got nothing else other than the fact that this Kamehameha, you can now move left and right while jumping, which is uh, also pretty huge. I, I just, I really don't know why they gave this to Krillin. I mean, I appreciate it, but Krillin was already very good and he's only getting better. Krillin, uh, I think he's S tier. I think he's, I think he's up there. <laughs> Other than that, Majin Buu got kind of skipped this patch, which is a shame, but to be honest, I already think Majin Buu is pretty well off if you know how to play the character. And Nappa caught some pretty sizable buffs in the form of his arm break. Nothing too major, which is okay, because I think Nappa is pretty... I think Nappa is as good as he can get unless they give him something really, really wild. So I'm not going to hate on Nappa for getting this uh, arm break stuff, uh, but I will be looking forward to seeing some more damage in his combos. Moving on, we are getting dangerously close to the slide that broke my heart during the live stream. But before we get to that, Android 16 actually got a lot of buffs here. Now, I I'm not a 16 player, so I can't tell you if this is what the character really needed to finally get some relevance back, but they are making improvements to some moves that I really wanted to see get improved, like his down heavy in the air. I think that's going to um, uh, increase the amount of sliding knockdown, which it mentions there. Hopefully, this is almost like a Broly 2H now. I would love to see that happen. Other things I'm excited for in terms of what Android 16 is going to be getting, uh, his hell heat move now can pretty much OTG off a of sliding knockdown, which I think is going to be really interesting. And he also caught a buff to his A assist, so very good stuff. I'm hoping this is what 16 players were looking for. I somehow believe it might not be everything they wanted, but I don't know. Any uh, any amount of buffs that can get this character back up to some form of relevancy would be very much appreciated. And I, I don't even play the character. And now I'm just going to take a different tone for the video because Yamcha uh, unfortunately took a very big loss today. I think this might be one of the standout nerfs of the patch. And that is the fact that his Wolf Fang Fist Flash, which is the EX Wolf Fang Fist, uh, has an increased delay when the attack misses. Now, that is a very innocent looking couple of words there. Increased delay when the attack misses. So right away, when I was watching this live, I thought, okay, you know, uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, it's a very strong move when you whiff it, you can just recover and do it again. I love doing that. Uh, in fact, one would say it was my predominant strategy with the character. And then they put up a before uh, screen and I knew I was dead. So let's just roll the clip and uh, see what Yamcha looks like. I don't know if you dropped oh, oh, it. Oh no, no, they're, it's gonna be bad if they're showing a before and after. After this? Oh no. And oh, it's gonna be like it's gonna be a 2M for Super Saiyan Goku. Don't do it to me. Oh my god! No! 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 That is going to be a huge deal for Yamcha. And the only other thing he got this patch was an, a bug fix to his B assist. This was not Yamcha's patch, guys. This was not Yamcha's patch. And I don't want to make it sound like he's going to be a bad character because really they didn't change anything too, too big about him. But I don't know. I, I know I said they didn't change anything too big about him, but this is a, like a big deal too, at least me. The way I play Yamcha, this is a big deal. It's going to take some adjusting. The character's still good. He's got that Wolf Fang Fist assist, but this is the biggest challenge I faced as a Yamcha player, <laughs> which maybe says something about how lucky the character's been, but this is going to be rough. This is the Super Saiyan Goku 2M of Yamcha's. <laughs> Why can't they leave my characters alone, man? Just stick to buffing them like Krillin. Luckily, much like Krillin, the other Earthling in the game, Tien, got a ton of buffs. In fact, Tien got, man, increased damage on Farewell 
Tien, which is the uh, Chaozu move. He loses less health on his tri beams. All of the volleyball fists got buffed. His damage got buffed. His Dodon Ray got buffed. Uh, Tien got, uh, what do you want me to say? Everything about Tien got better. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to get more people to play Tien because I think one of his main problems is just that he's kind of a boring character overall. He only does one thing really, which is volleyball fist. As you can see, a lot of these moves, it's volleyball fist, volleyball fist, volleyball fist. But if you already like Tien, he's just going to do more damage and less damage to himself and overall is just a much much better character and i will definitely be looking at him a lot more in season 3.5 for sure adult gohan <laughs> got nothing in fact uh speaking of clips from the stream let's actually roll one where uh, uh we were getting very excited for what gohan could get done to him especially lotus who wanted to see what buffs this character was going to get since he's been behind seeing gohan for so long and we were just getting off at of tn um and then instead we saw this uh, adult gohan i really want to see <laughs> That would not have been as funny without the setup. Yeah, that was just very unfortunate timing for Ultimate Gohan. So another character that just sat the patch out, really. Moving on to our next slide. This is actually one that I'm going to entirely skip. I'll flash it up on the screen here just in case you are playing one of these characters and would like to read them. But in essence, Hit got a bunch of stuff that I don't really think the Hit community really wanted to see. I think there were other things that they really wanted to see addressed and they kind of avoided those. So that's unfortunate. And Goku Blue just got up a bunch of assist changes. So also not really going to impact the character, but both of them are pretty decent. So it's not the worst thing in the world. The next slide after that is actually entirely dedicated to Vegeta Blue. So Goku Blue and Vegeta Blue are two very different stories here. Overall, to break down all of this information very shortly, uh, Vegeta Blue mostly got buffed in ways like after Key Blast, he wasn't really able to 2H Super Dash, but now you can actually cancel out into things like Big Bang Attack and other moves that kind of stop Super Dash in its tracks. So already that's a really big big thing for this character is going to be playing a bit more of that zona role and really leaning into that but also his dash kicks were buffed up so when you do eventually go in and try to get those mixes on uh they are also going to be improved niagara pummel also got a full screen i mean you can practically hit this move from full screen now you aren't going to be missing it it just the insane distance increase itself was crazy and then he also got his final flash sped up much like super saiyan vegeta so overall i already thought super saiyan blue vegeta had some stuff to him already but uh this should definitely help this should definitely help in some meaningful ways. On our next slide, we have a couple of characters that I know people were really looking forward to seeing if any of them got changed. And the answer is yes, Bardock B assist did in fact get nerfed. Not in the fact that how long you have to block after you get hit by it, but the assist no longer tracks, which I think is fair. I did suggest that probably that was going to be the only thing they change about that move. And lo and behold, it is the only thing they adjusted, which I think makes it a much more fair and honest assist now, even if it still sucks to block. On this page, the only other thing we really have to talk about is the fact fact that Beerus got a huge buff to his assist and his crouching medium attack is now much much better and um we should also address the elephant in the room that Goku Black didn't get anything dude he got nothing to his name Goku Black got no additional changes and spoilers for the rest of this video but Goku Black stands a very real chance of I mean we're going to have to see how it shakes out but he stands a very real chance of maybe becoming one of the worst if not the worst characters in the game so it's getting scary for Goku Black now he's got to get a buff soon he really needs some out. Our next four characters are Broly, Vegeta Blue, Base Goku, and Base Vegeta. And for Vegeta and Broly, really nothing has changed. They are very much the same characters as they were. But Base Goku's B assist now builds a full bar instead of just 0.75 bar when you use his B assist, which I thought was very notable. That assist was already pretty crazy to me and has only gotten crazier. So Base Goku B assist moving up in terms of viability. And Base Vegeta actually gets a pretty sizable nerf. It now takes longer until Base Vegeta becomes invincible and if you miss the attack the delay of it is even more so really base vegeta kind of got hit with the same treatment yamcha did uh which is gonna be huge for the character as well J everything i said about yamcha kind of comes back to apply for base vegeta if not even more because of the invincibility delay i don't think it's going to hurt the character too much because overall i think he's just a little too good for it to really knock him down a peg or two but it definitely hurts it definitely might question his spot as the number one in the game up next we have cooler android 17 and jiren who all got some pretty decent stuff
stuff. Cooler less so than the others. He now is actually just able to do his normal grab level three instead of it having to be a counter on the ground, which is more just the quality of life buff. But Android 17 got some crazy stuff, man. He can now use his Rekkas in the air and out of his dash in the air. So he can just come down on people with an elbow, which is really, really crazy to me. Uh, he can also just fast fall out of the air now. Overall, this is big for 17 as a mix up oriented character. And he only got better at what he was already pretty good at. Jiren, on the other hand, got some wildly good buffs as well. His crouching light attack got buffed, which was already one of his best moves. His grand charge got an increase on the distance he moves during the attack, which kind of scares me. I believe they compared that to something along the lines of a cooler 3H, which if that's true, I am very much scared for this character. But overall, everything about Jiren got buffed. This character might be really scary now. He was already pretty good. They didn't really address his command grab. It did get slightly faster, but it's still super slow. Um, So yeah, man, this page scares me. Android 17 and Jiren are looking like new beasts. Speaking of new beast, we finally have a lot of Videl buffs, and these might actually be pretty good for the character. I'm not going to pretend like I know a lot about Videl. In fact, after she came out and a little while after that, I kind of fell off because, you know, unquestionably, I believe she was the worst in the game, and she still didn't get a reflect or anything, but they did make her dodge a little better, and uh, they made her Rekka's uh, do more damage. They increased her uh, jumping 2H, stuff like that. I think that's going to be really big for the character, especially the Rekka stuff, the damage and making it faster is always going to be good regardless of the move. So yeah, Videl mains got to be happy with what they got here purely because of how much they got here. This is more attention than Videl's gotten since she released. On our next slide, we get to the other bottom tier character in the game, which is Gogeta Blue. And they fixed the main problem with the character, which is the fact that everybody thought he was just way too slow. Uh, I think this might be some of the sleeper buffs of the patch. This might be very good for the character purely because of how much they sped up. You can see the list of all of the attacks here. Uh, and you know Gogeta Blue is slow because all of these are pretty much saying sped up sped up sped up all of these are all of these are speeding up so that is very good for the character this is what he needed to be competitive in the meta uh right now so we're going to see if that works out for him i'm hopeful though i'm hopeful i'm definitely hopeful that these buffs are exactly what he needed to see and the last page of changes here is actually kind of underwhelming because everybody on this page dbs broly kefla and ui goku really didn't get touched which is not shocking at all they some of these characters just literally came out in season three uh but yeah a lot of people were expecting something for UI Goku, but nope, nothing about UI Goku. But anyway, that was all of the details about the new upcoming patch for Dragon Ball Fighters. Down below in the comments, let me know what some of your favorite and least favorite changes are, and what characters are you excited to play with once that new season three patch drops. Obviously, if we're going to talk about winners of this patch, I gotta give it to characters like Piccolo, Gotenks, Gogeta Blue, Videl, characters that really got improved, Tien, I forgot about Tien, Android 17, Jiren, those are the really big winners to me, and the only two losers I can think about are probably Yamcha and base Vegeta, which is unfortunate considering I play one of those characters, but uh, what are you gonna do, dude? Let me know down below what, who you think are the winners and losers, and while you're down there, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on everything Dragon Ball Fighters, and especially up to date on Roshi Week when we come in and play all sorts of ranked matches, tech, and stuff like that. Other than that, you can check out some other videos that should be on your screen right now. I have been Dr. Doya, and I will see you in the next one.